Yo, what's goody guys? It's your boy Aaron Aztec. And in this video, I drop into Sandy Towers 100 times. Shout out to Luke the Notable as he is the originator of this challenge. Today we are memeing, dying, blowing things up, and basically trying not to be a bot. Let's go. Game number one, we find ourselves on the building next to the iconic building from Tilted Towers, and we find our first victim. See you later! But it was short-lived thanks to this purple pony skin person. Game number two didn't end so well. Someone else got a gun before I did. Game number three, I landed on the building with a balcony with a nice view and then got shot in the back. After collecting all my loot, I decided to leave a different way until it was safe to say I had to change my pants after this one. So now I just decided to spray and pray. It didn't work. Game number four, we landed on the clock tower and scored ourselves two free chests. Then I spotted a skull trooper disguised as Santa. I missed, he didn't. Then a plane came out from the distance and started raining hellfire down on me. Then I started shooting back at him. Probably shouldn't have done it in the open. Game number five, I hear someone underneath us, so I go on the offense. Ooh, no, he decided to take the stairs. So we decided to send him back to the lobby. See ya. Then I get a sneaky kill from the roof to a bot. Now with my newfound confidence, I decide to rush a player. Didn't work out so well for me. Game number six, I decide to camp this one door with my gray pistol. It was a stupid idea. Game number seven, we run into a player with Stevie Wonder's aim. Then a lovely lady that received two to her head. Next, I ran into a player that could finally build. School Trooper is relentless, so I tried to strock wave away. GG's McChizzy. After a terrible loss, I had to ruin someone's Christmas. Sorry, but no presents for you, my friend. And then we go fishing with the Harpoo gun. Our prize catch got away, but then we get him. Straight after, we run into the Taskmaster and get third party. But we build up and hold our own and then finish the Taskmaster. Then the third party decided he wanted to come and play. Thanks, Churcho, -cho, cuz. Game number nine, I landed the main building. It was a race to get our first weapon. But I sprayed and prayed and then secured the elimination. One level below, we found ourselves a legendary present. We went ahead and unwrapped that present, but there wasn't anything really good in there. A friend decided that he wanted a present too, but there was no way he was getting my unwanted gift. With not much else happening at Salty Towers, we decided to head over to Risky Reels. We see two people dancing, so we decide we want to join in too. With only one player left, it was time to tango. I got tired. Game 10, we run around aimlessly trying to find ourselves a gun. Oh, we run into a person, pick up the gun. <laughs> Lucky he's a bot. I hear some commotion in the distance, so I go and find out what's going on. I steal someone's kill. And I realize the remaining player is a gingerbread raider, which means he's a sweat. Game 11, another gingerbread raider. Some of these were filmed really late at night when all the sweats were out. See, an aura skin. Game 13, I see a nicely wrapped present, so I open it. Ooh, an ice raven. After spending all this time in salty towers, we decide to leave. But then I discover shockwaving in the open is a bad idea. Game 14, we hear some people down below, so we throw down some grenades and see what happens. Boom! Eliminated. That was lucky. Making our way down the bottom floor, we ran into some heat, so we hightailed it straight out of there to only get shot in the back. Game 15 and 16, but basically me being a bot. This series I am trying to do just so I can get better at the game. Game 17, we switch it up and I do random trios. And this Nogops keeps randomly dropping all his loot for me. First it was his loadout, now it's all his ammo. Or half of it at least. Then a random slurpfish. Making our way up to Pleasant Park, we ran into some trouble. I was sure I was going to be dangerous with my Dragon Rush shotgun. Unless I missed completely. I was soon taken out of the game, but then resurrected from the depths of hell. Only to come back and secure that victory royale with the Dragon Breath shotgun. Game 18, I ran into a player that thinks the fishing from the third level of a tower covered by sand is a good idea. This time, it was. Game 19 and 20, we'll pretend it never happened. Game 21, must be a lucky day. We run into a mythic chest and pick up my favorite weapon, the P90. I get an easy kill and then we make our way out of Salty. And then some brave soul places a bounty on my head. And then we end his hunt with my favorite gun, the P90. Three players left with five kills up my belt already. And this player is boxed up in a 2 by one so I go into rush. I'm on controller, so I can't steal his walls as quick as he can. And then in the corner of my eye, I spot the other player coming through. I pull back and I build up so I can get some height. And then I send this kid back to the lobbies. Now it's just a 1v1. I hit him for 79, then I spray down the walls. He rushes up and I miss every shot. Then in the game 22, nothing but my hopes, dreams, and three grenades. Seems to not fare very well against this season player in his astronaut suit. Pause, hold up. Game 23 to 29, nothing much happened, so I figured I'd turn it into a pretty cool montage for you guys. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, and you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're responsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it, yo. You gotta take it slow. You can't be a pro. Don't waste your time no more. You fuck, fuck, fight.
Now, game number 30 might seem a little bit lackluster after that montage, but we started off by spraying the face off this female Mexican wrestler. I then tried to take on two players at once. Then I remembered I'm not that good at the game. Fortunately, my murderer found his fate quickly after. Game 31, we landed this house, and me and this other player decided to play a game of hide and seek. Where are you? There you are! It's now game 32, and I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident. I've learned to just get in there and just get aggressive. I spot this player pushing up on me on top of this building, but I don't have a lot of mats, so I've got to take my time with this one. Fortunately, this player's pushing technique didn't work for them. This guy mustn't know I'm on fire. Catch you later, bro. These guys are really testing my patience. I'm out of mats and I have no options left. And I need to reload. Game 33, we land on this building. We find ourselves a Christmas present. We open it. Inside, we find ourselves a gold bolt action sniper rifle. And then just before we get to enjoy it, my one-year-old daughter comes to turn off my PC. Game 34, we spot ourselves a mythic chest. And inside it, we get our hands on easily somebody's favorite gun, the Scar. We line our shots up through the windows and we take it. We hear a player swiftly running through the water. He starts the bunny hop, but our aim assist is way too good. My game was quickly ended by a Fortnite kid with his mom's credit card. Game 35, I get my face ripped off by a Texas Ranger with pancakes as a face. Game 36, we discover there's nobody at Salty Towers, so we leave and we decide to go get ourselves a bounty. I'm coming for you. My bounty was quickly interrupted by this kid that was screaming for attention. Game 37, we land on the main building, pick up our weapons, and we run into this Wolverine that would rather jump off the top of the building than face me. Quickly after, we realize we probably should have jumped too. Game 38, we quickly loot from underneath the Christmas tree and then we head out. We stop by the pond and say hello to Outcast. She doesn't really have anything good though. Worst timing ever. I really need to use the bathroom. So I find a little hiding spot and I wait it out in hopes to be able to return to be able to finish this game. Ninth place isn't bad considering. It's now game 39 that's time to bring out the big guns. We have the original John Wick skin, the Reaper, who seems to attract the most sweatiest players in the world. Like how the frick do you say that? John Wick only lands at the main building and then swiftly dispatches his opponents and gets eliminated just as quick. Game 41, we're back in the grind skin and John Wick really wasn't doing it for us. And we get taken out by a kid in a Christmas onesie. Game 42, we land in Salty Towers because that is part of the challenge, but we head on over to Weeping Woods and find ourselves three easy kills from people trying to get in from the circle. Then the storm takes us all the way over to Lazy Lake. Then I forget the standing still the pink outfit makes you an easy target game 43 is ended very quickly by a snowman penguin game 44 the exact same player does it again he will haunt me forever game 45 and we put on the sweatiest skin of all the soccer skin and we do what any respectable sweaty skin would do hide in a bush and only fight when we have the advantage pew 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 this soccer skin is bringing us all the luck we score ourselves a free exotic handgun Ooh, I like this gun. I find myself in a 1v1 build battle. Now, instead of facing me one-on-one, -on -one, he shoots out my builds and I come crashing down to earth. Well played, sir. Game 46 and I was being pushed upon from this galaxy skin until this guy came through and took the kill. So I went over and said thank you. Then the Mexican wrestler from game 30 came back for revenge. Game 47, I have very low health, so I run away and hide. As you see, it went well. Game 48, the pancake man gives me a bounty and the hunter becomes the hunted. Game 49, the soccer skin is starting to pay off and we make it to the top three. Game 50, I shoot at the bush camper, but I completely miss the sniper to the right. Game 51, final two, I line up my shot, and I finally get that victory royale. It only took me 51 games to get here, though. After securing that dub, it was time to flex my skills. Come at me, gamers. Don't worry, I'll get him on the next one. There's nothing worse than realizing you ran out of mats. Then you gotta hightail it out of there and just try your best. Game 54, I almost killed the pancake man. Almost. Game 55, and I get a bounty on my head. Except this time, he's a better player than me. Game 56, we get taken out by a soccer kid with a number 69 on his back. <laughs> 69. This game, another soccer kid takes us out, but he's representing New Zealand. So I'll give him a pass. Game 58, we take out an innocent man that clearly had no weapons. So in his honor, we throw up Wakanda forever. Game 59, the king of Wakanda is taken out by a guy whose name we can't read at all. Game 60, we eat a spicy pepper that gives us the ability to sprint all the way to the jungle, where we find ourselves a bot, but my aim assist doesn't seem to be working. And we're quickly sent back to the lobby by a real player. Now, game 61 was a shit show from the moment I landed. I got pickaxe from a maple syrup pickaxe and I got shot from a distance. It just wasn't good. Now, 62 games in, I figured it was time to have a little bit of fun and no better way to do it than in Uncle Laserbeam's favorite skin, the Gingy skin. So after every kill, we dance on him. No copyright. Bump, 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 bump. Game 63, and we set ourselves a challenge. We have to make it from one end of Salty Towers to the other end of Salty Towers while emoting. We'll try again. Attempt number two, and we need to do Uncle Laserbeam proud. But this one 
it actually gets quite interesting. We actually have a random elf skin come and join in with us. Now, with Salty Towers being a pretty heavy drop this season, it gets a little bit crazy. You can hear gunshots flying, people everywhere, footsteps. You're just not sure if we're going to make it to the very end this time. The anxiety inside me keeps building up as we're trying to get to the end of it. Are we going to make it in the second attempt? We don't know. Is this even worthy of a meme? I don't know, but for 100 games and just trying to make a short little fun clip? Yeah, I think so. All I can hear coming in now is an airplane, and then it starts shooting at us. Are they going to ruin our meme? No, we make it until this uh, blaze ends it. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's as a man. He has come to save the day, but no, there's his nemesis, Ninja. I will come for you, Ninja. Game 66, and I felt like it was time to flex my sniping skills. Hit one, hit two, hit three. Oh, and yeah, I made a stupid play in this game in game second. Game 67, I'm sent packing by the Black Panther himself. Game 68, I didn't even get time to turn around before I meet my maker. Now it's game 69, we have to do something special. So I stand on top of the clock tower and just meme the entire time. I want to know how long it takes for someone to be able to realize that I'm just standing on top of there doing nothing and shoot me down. Then the craziest thing happens. This Christmas Jonesy comes all the way up and I think he's protecting me. But then I go back into replay mode and I don't think he knows I'm there. My 70th game, and I'm still taken out straight away. Never trust a nog ops. Game 71, and only five players left. But a third party's grenade comes and finds me. And he has the audacity to laugh on me. Game 72, and I'm still playing like a bot. Game 73, and I discover you can't shoot through those stairs. And I can't shoot at all. Game 74, another Christmas present, and we get the icy grenade cannon. It's pretty fun to eliminate your enemies this way. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a bot lobby. I have a green pistol, and he has a gold tactical shotgun. Now, remember that gold tactical shotgun? It's pretty OP. Oh, and the icy grenade launcher, it let me down. Game 75, and I only have one health left, and I forget that using those healing items in my inventory is probably a good idea. Game 76, I forgot to record until now. My bad. Game 77, I had a green submachine gun. He had a shotgun, and I didn't know I didn't have any builds. He killed me. Game 78, and all I wanted to do was just stay alive until this soccer skin came along. It's now game 79, and I'm struggling to get a win. So I pull out the big guns. I get my boy Hez to come into a game so he can carry me to a victory royale. And he does. Game 80, we weren't so lucky. Game 82, Hez goes down, and it's my job to pick him up. Luckily, I've got my eye on the door. Oops, wrong door. Game 82, I go down, and Hez comes back for the revive. This is basically what it's like to play Fortnite with me. Ah, a familiar scene I see. Lucky I was brought back to life just so I could bring back Hez later. Only to go down again and finish for good this time. Game 84, I realize we're playing in some pretty sweaty lobbies that think this is arena, not public match. Game 85, it wouldn't be proper duos without matching outfits. Unfortunately, they don't make you play any better. Game 86, and my boy Hez makes them big brain moves. Instead of going in from the side, he comes in from above. See you later, bro. Unfortunately, that big brain is no match for another duo with matching skins. Game 87, and I do my part in this duo. I hide behind this door. Doesn't work out for me. Hez comes in to defend my honor, and that happens. Wait, did you miss it? Let's watch it again in slow motion. See what happened. Yes, sir, you just witnessed a double kill. Game 88, and it's time to meme again. But I look up, and there's a lot of people dropping a salty. All I want to do is just stand here at the Christmas tree. GG's, my friend. Game 89, and it just seems like there's no place for memeing anymore. It's now game 90. We knock out the Christmas tree. We stand strong with our inbuilt emote. We actually get a good five minutes out of this until we see this aura that comes over us with a curious look on her face. She drops all of her weapons and then she pulls out her gun, faces it at the back of our head. But no, she's actually defending us. Man, that could have been epic. Game 91 and we're due for a win. So we brought out the loser fruit skin. Yes! <laughs> and thank God we did. Oh yeah, the taste of victory is oh so sweet. Now, that loser fruit luck really would have come in handy in game 92, 93, and 94. Thankfully, in game 95, we make it to the final three. I take out one player, and I have one player left. I get my tack shotgun out, gone. Victory Royale is out. I'm starting to think this loser fruit skin is our lucky charm. Game 96, and it's time to prove to these kids that I'm a real OG with the Squire skin. And no, I didn't finish the battle pass, so I didn't get the Black Knight skin. But yes, the Black Knight probably would have won this battle. Game 97, and I miss a pretty easy shot, so I deserve this. Game 98, and the gods grace me with one health so I can eliminate this player. But it turns out they don't favor me against this one. Game 99, and I get creeped upon by this creepy looking dark elf. Game 100, and we're finally there. But I try and hold on as long as I can, obviously by hiding, because I really, really wanted to get a victory royale for my final game. But 
I'm a bot, and it didn't end up happening. Guys, that is my 100 drops at Salty Towers. Thank you very much for sticking around and watching this whole video. Again, if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. It'll do me a massive favor. After all, you can always unsubscribe later on. Until next time, peace.